Hi, this is Jake with Specialized Garage Doors in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we're going to show you how to test and maintain your garage door system. So to go ahead and test your garage door system for safety, uh, the, there's a couple things you need to do. For, first, go ahead and get a remote handy, so that way you can hit that button and be catching the door all at the same time. You can do this with two people as well. You'd have somebody over at the button on the wall, and they can hit it for you. Uh, but what you're doing, go ahead and hit the button on the way down, catch the door, and physically make it reverse. Uh, what you're testing is just to see how hard is your motor pushing. Uh, if it's pushing too hard, uh, when adjustments need to be made, uh, you're, you're looking for just enough force to make that door close without reversing. Any more than that, you're running the risk of damaging your door. So go ahead and hit the button, close it down. As you can see, I only had to put slight resistance on the door to get it to reverse. And then for, for the up force, you need to have the door closed, run the door up and catch the door and stop the door on the way up. You're looking for the same thing, just enough force to barely stop it is correct. If you need to make adjustments, let's say it's pushing too hard, not enough, either way, you got to go up to your machine, find your force settings. Um, and, and, and just work in small increments, either raising or lowering that down. It's best to start with them low and work on up to what's enough. Um, that's, so start down in the one range or just as low as you can get it and, and move small increments up until it's just running the door without stopping. Again, this is Jake with Specialized Garage Doors, and we've just covered how to test and maintain your garage door system.